my name is Leah McCoy and I'm a cook. So, um, a little bit about myself. I went to school at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh for baking and pastry. And while going to school, I got a job as a makeup artist and I absolutely loved it. I love playing with makeup. Right now, I got a good smoky eye going on. Urban Decay, Make It 3 palette, 2 and 1. I mean... I loved it. It was being creative. I got to talk to people all day, but I ended up finishing school and graduating with my associates in baking and pastry, and I got a job as a baker. And after school, when I was going to the job, I hated it. It wasn't what I wanted to do. I was very unhappy in life, and I needed to find a new job, but as a makeup artist, I was part-time, and they didn't have any full-time positions available for me. So I now recently just got a job as a cook and I really love it. It's a lot of fun and there's four cooks where I work and of course I'm the only female. So recently my aunt gave me this article called Table Magazine and it's a very good magazine. It's great. It talks about food, where to go, what's kind of going on and it talks about these 10 women see them and they are either executive chefs or they own a restaurant they're in the restaurant business and I thought that was very interesting because that's the field that I'm in and what I'm doing in life and I was reading it and it said that women have a better chance of becoming a CEO of a company than actually becoming an executive chef well that's not good for me because I never want to be a CEO of a company so I think it's interesting how media and society are always saying, oh, men can do better than women. Men are men. And so I'm going to just make these videos, talk about being a woman in the kitchen and what it's like. But then I'm also going to be talking about makeup and fashion, clothing. And so what I'm wearing now is how I would like to look when I go to work. So first, you got these hats. Now, <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite hats that I ever had throughout my time in the kitchen. It was one that I wore at school. And right now I wear a baseball cap to work, which I'm not that crazy about. But I always have hat hair. It could be my weekend hat hair. After work, oh, I should might as well wear a hat because I have hat hair 24-7 now because of this. And, I mean... It's disgusting. It honestly, my hair is nasty. It's sweaty all the time. It's flat all the time. It's horrible. Then on to the face. You're not allowed to wear makeup in the kitchen. Well, you are, but it kind of gets sweated off. It dissolves during the day. Honestly, I have no idea what happens to my makeup when I wear it to work. I could prime all I want, and by the end of an eight-hour shift, it's gone. So I did my makeup for this because I'm off today and I just wanted to have some makeup on. But in a kitchen I go in with nothing on. So I look atrocious. Then the earrings, which are not allowed in the kitchen, but I wanted them as a fashion statement so I put them on. Next are these ugly coats, which clearly do nothing for figure. I mean, what is this? Come on now. It looks disgusting on. I mean, I look like a box. And they're white, so they show every little stain, dirt, anything that you get on you. It shows. I mean, everyone's going to see it. And I'm a messy person, so by the end of my shift, this jacket is not white anymore. And it's OxyClean gets everything out. I mean, I used to come home covered in chocolate, and I got it out. So then, lastly to this horrendous uniform is these pants. So, they're checkered, black and white. They're not meant for a woman to wear because J-Lo's booty wouldn't even look good in these pants. I mean, honestly, you're not, you're going to look wider than you are. You're going to have no figure. You're just, you look bad. So now I go to work, basically looking like a man, and then they tell me that the men's going to get farther than me. So, I'm just going to make these videos and tell you what really goes on in the kitchen. Everything from top to bottom, what a day's like in there, working with all the guys, 
being like told, oh, don't take out the trash, the men will do it, or oh, you do the dishes, or oh, you could just do the easy stuff. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous, and no one gets to actually see that side of a kitchen when you go out to eat. So, I decided to make these videos, show everyone what the real kitchen life's about, the sweat, the blood, the tears, and how working your way up to the top is very difficult, and especially for a woman. And so I was always told that if you're not scared of your dreams, you're, they're not big enough. Well, let's just say I'm terrified, but I'm going to become an executive chef. Thank you.